Hello, this is Orange Line. We would like to welcome you, our dear viewer, in our today's lecture when we are going to learn about calculus. And specifically, this the collections I've collected a number of questions for the different final exam. So I would like to ask you to watch uh, all the all of these contents because we are going to solve different questions of the calculus in engineering mathematics for different university levels. So I'd like to ask you to join us. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, I'd like to welcome all the students who are interested with engineering mathematics. This is the example of the fine exam. Uh, in our local country, especially at Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, this is the setup of the uh, of the semester, end of the semester exam, means the end of the semester. And it is titled as Calculus, and this is the module code. This is uh, actually the year, it was for BNG 15. Uh, these are the graduates already, but we have to go through it because the, 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 the curriculum is still the same. And these are the set of instructions that the students has to follow. And when you open this past, this past paper, you will find that this is it has two parts, section A and section B. So well, this is section A, which consists about in five questions, and each question has four marks. Okay, so that's section A. And also, uh, downstairs here, you find we have section B for 40 marks, which comprises six questions. The student has to answer four questions. In case of section A, the total max is 20, and then the student has to answer all the questions. And in this video, we are going to solve all of these questions to give you different concepts, uh, different concepts on this module. When you turn on the last page, which is the third page, you'll find that uh, continuations of section B. This is the question number three, which has 10 marks. Question number four, which has 10 marks. Question number five, which has 10 marks. Question number six, which has 10 marks. Uh -huh. So remember, in section B, a student has to answer only four questions. But because we don't know which questions are you interested in, we are going to solve all of these questions. So stay tuned. Dear yeah, you are welcome to this tutorial titled as solving the final exam questions. The name of the subject is engineering mathematics, for those lovers of engineering mathematics, and the module names is curriculum, so we are going to discuss about curriculum. However, that he, in this part of the curriculum, we are not going to discuss a lot about differentiations, integrations, differential equations, so we are going to touch every part of the curriculum, because those are the uh, three main types of food, or main branches of curriculum. So this is the cover. We are going to solve the final exam questions and the, I have just chosen the final exams of 2000, 2016 for the 2016 for the Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology. Topics covered, these are the topics that we are going to cover. We are going to solve questions. The first topic is known as limit of the function. Remember that this is a real function. It's not a complex function. We are going to discuss a real function. And then we are going to cover about the, we are going to solve some questions on, on Laplace transform. Also, we are going to solve some questions on inverse of Laplace transform, inverse of Laplace transform. And also, we are going to solve some questions on 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 applications of the Laplace transform. We have about four applications of Laplace transform, but in this uh, in this tutorial, we are going to cover almost about two or three two two applications. And also, uh, we are going to solve some questions which are asking or testing students uh, the year level of understanding of the Fourier series. And also, you have to make sure that you watch the, the, the three lectures that I have uploaded in this channel regarding about the introductions of the Fourier series. But here, we will take a question and solve it. Lastly, the last topic that we are going to discuss the questions for complex Fourier series. And then from there, we are going to actually believe that at the end of this tutorial, you will have learned a lot which can help you for the end for the final exams that are ahead of you. Thank you. Okay, so this is final exam question paper for 2000 for the year 2016 at the Islam Institute of Technology, time offered to each student seven hours. This is section A because the exams consist section A and B. We are going to start with section A. Here we have question one, which, which is part A, which comprises of four marks, two marks plus two marks, four marks. So it has two parts. The first 
uh, the first part asking about evaluating the limits of the functions when x approaches to zero of x over absolute of x. The second part just yes, asking for the limit of the functions x minus one uh, when x approaches to three is equal to two. Find delta greater than zero that works if for epsilon greater than two, and the total max that you are going to get is two max. So we are going to solve each of these questions. Solution. Let us start with Roman 1. Means that in, uh, question number one, Roman 1. So in this question are uh, testing is, uh, the comprehensions or understanding of the student uh, on the informal definition of the limit because the limits of the function has two definitions. We have informal definition of the limit and formal definition of the limit. So the first two questions asking testing the student the level of understanding his, his or her level of understanding in informal definition of the limit and the second part testing the students his or her comprehensions on the informal definition of the limit. So we are going to start with formal definition. Okay? So uh, we say that uh, the informal definition of the function, the formal definition, informal definition of the function, uh, this is state as. Okay? Say as. We say that the limit, if we say that uh, if the limit of the function ffx as x approaches to a on left hand side of a uh, uh, is equal to limit as x approaches to a positive of ffx and this will be equal to the limit so we say that limit of the function ffx exists ffx exists if the limit of the functions obey this condition this is the limit of left hand side and this is the limit of right hand side if the limit of the functions if the limits of the functions are on the left hand side is equal to the limits of the function on the right hand side then we say that the limits of that function exist so we can find it otherwise if the limits of left hand side is not equal to the limits of right hand side then the limit of that function does not exist and you have nothing to offer so what like what does it mean about you? Uh, a limit of the function is on left hand side or so right hand side or left hand side. This is what I mean. Suppose that I have uh, a graph, okay, a graph which is x axis graph. So this is origin point. Suppose that I have a certain function. This is x axis and this is y axis. So suppose that I have a certain graph of the function and I want to start. Suppose that this is point A. So we say that x is less than a, that's left hand side, and also x on this side, x is greater than a. Okay, suppose that this is a, so this is the value of a. So on left hand side, we used to label mathematics that as x approaches to a bar, and also on right hand side of a, we used to label that x approaches to a positive. Okay, so that's the concept that you have to remember. So let us go, so the, we are going for the second step. Okay. The first step we just recall the definition. We are going for the second step. The second step now let us take considerations of the given function. We are looking limit of the of the functions uh, x of absolute of x as x approaches to zero. We have x absolute of x. So in these functions, this is we call it rational absolute function. Rational absolute function. We have two important properties in mathematics here. Okay. The first property we say that you have to remember that we say whenever we are looking at absolute of a, this is equal to plus or minus a. So if that the case now, if you are looking at absolute of x, this is equal to plus or minus x. So if that the case now, we say that limit as x approaches to zero, then here we have x plus or minus of x. So remember that. Uh, our intentions is look the limits of the left hand side and limits of the right hand side. So to get the limits of left hand side, we say that uh, now we are going for the same step. So after simplify, because we have already simplified, we are going to the same step. Same step, we say that we find limit of the function, means find limits of the function of ffx on right hand side and the left hand side. How do we find? We say that limit of left of the functions ffx as x approaches to zero bar. This is the limits of 
limits of the function on left hand side. So then we are going to take considerations x and then from this side we are going to take the consideration of x over negative x. Right? Why? Because if you draw this function, suppose that this is your x. On this side you are going to have, suppose that this is your x. And on this side you are going to have negative x, on this side you are going to have positive x. Suppose that this is 0. Because we are learning the use of the function x is equal to 0. So this is 0, 0. So because a negative x will be on left hand side of 0, that's why we say that the limits of the function left hand side will be x over negative x. So x over x is 1. So 1 over negative 1, the answer is going to be negative 1. Right? That is the limits of right of left hand side. Then we are going to use the limits of the left of the right hand side. So this is limit as x approaches to zero positive, and then we are going to take considerations of our denominator to be positive x. So why should we take why are we taking consideration of positive x? Because remember that positive x is always on right hand side of zero or original point in case of the graph. X over x is one, one over positive one is equal to positive one. So this is the limits of the functions on right hand side. Limits of the Okay, so now do you go in for the first step on on solving this question? We shall have to check that check if formal definition for the limit to exist for the limit for the limit of the function of the function to exist is Obey. How do you check? This is the way that you check. Remember that the formal definition of the use that if limit as x approaches to a of ffx is equal to the limit as x approaches to positive a of ffx, then the use of the function exists. Otherwise, otherwise means what does it mean about otherwise? If you will find that limits as x approaches to a bar of ffx, this is not equal to the limits of right hand side as x approaches to a positive of ffx. Then for this case, remember that for the first case, limit exists. And then for the second case, limit does not exist. Does not exist. So let us come back to our case. We have limits of left hand side is equal to negative one and the limits of the right hand side is equal to positive 1. So we can make a comparison. Let us substitute. The limits on left hand side got negative 1, and the limits on right hand side get positive 1. Negative 1 is not, is, ne is not equal to positive 1. So if these two limits are not equal, then we conclude that the limit, therefore, limit of the function as x approaches to 0 and this is the rational absolute function that x of absolute of x does not does not exist. So does not totally exist. This is the final response for part A, for one one of part A of question number one. Then you are free now to get the two marks that have been offered.